Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here. Today we're getting ready to take out the Rasmussen's P36A um, American fighter in Air Arcade. So good things on this plane is its speed. It's almost, actually it's more than 80 miles per hour faster than the P26s. So um, on the downside though, it doesn't turn very well. So this is one we definitely want to use as an energy fighter. Don't want to get in turning fights, especially horizontal down near the ground. We'll just get shot down. But if we keep our speed up and just move around the map and look for targets of opportunity, we should do pretty well. In terms of armament, it does have a 50 cal on it um, and a 30 cal. So that 50 cal can do really well at these low levels. Um, as you go up in levels, you're definitely going to want you know, a little more firepower than this, but should be enough for what we're going to do. So let's take it out and see how we do. All right, so we're going to start off with our 30 degree climb, build our energy up. It's going to give us an advantage over our opponents that don't have the energy, don't climb. And uh, it's also going to mean that we're not the first target to see. So a little more survivability that way. Based on the planes I see on the other side, looks like it is a mostly up tier, just 2-0 match. Not a 2-3, we like that. And yeah, you can already see how well this thing climbs. So we're gonna play mostly defense, stay on our side of the map over here and uh, just work on any of their guys who are trying to get our grounds or shoot down our guys on our side. Diving in on the key 10 to start. Got plenty of speed, so I'm not worried about anybody catching this. One down. Go ahead and go vertical, turn all that speed back into altitude. And then we'll come down and do another pass. So right around 200 miles per hour, we'll flip it back over. Nice thing about energy fighting like this is even when somebody's chasing you, they can't keep up with you. So you can stall them out in front of your buddies or just leave them in the dust and uh, come back and fight them when you want to. Stick in front of us. A few shots into him. Go ahead again, go in the vertical. So around 200 miles per hour before we flip over. We got targets underneath us. Focus on the ones that are furthest on our side first. Might be able to have a run at two of them here. This goes a couple shots in. Let's work on the Fury next. We'll definitely catch him. We're at 300 miles per hour. He's hit the ground, which means he's distracted, which we like. Buddy decided to run into him. Interesting choice. All right, speed back into altitude. Save that energy as best we can. One just went underneath us here. Flip back around, get some shots on. Fall him into the turn a little bit, but we're not going to fall him all the way in the turn and make ourselves slow. This is probably, hopefully, a good example of them trying to chase us up. Set up nicely for our friend down below. And he took care of him. So that's what you want to do. Either stall them out and uh, turn back around on them, or stall them out in front of your buddies. It makes an easy kill for them. They get to help you out. Everybody's happy. Except for the guy chasing you, of course. Alright, he's down. High 15's a little bit close. We'll go ahead and reload while we're here. Six more seconds on the 50 cal reload. Let's get back down there. He could out turn us all day long, but the uh, speed advantage makes it pretty easy to take him down. All right, eyes are in front, but actually the group that's coming over to our side is over here. So 112 looks like he wants some of us. Nope, he got peeled off, nice. on him for a second. Good, he's on fire. Alright, I-15 coming in. Took a chance there. He does have four guns, but managed to get him on fire. J-8A, same deal. He's on fire too. They are shooting up my engine a bit. So, got a little too turn fighty. We're just going to head towards our spawn. Two 
many of them, not enough of our guys. Reload and kind of reset here. Alright, got the kill on one of those guys. Oh, Fokker coming in. He looks angry. So try and get underneath his guns. Try not to just fly in a straight line, make it tougher. So perfect. That's what you want to do. So that's why we play on our side of the map, is that type of situation. When you get into trouble, it's more likely your team's going to help you on your side of the map. Um, more likely their team's going to help them on their side of the map. So stay close to your support. Should be pretty good. Let's see which target wants to go first. A couple good hits there. Bring it back up in the vertical. Back down on him. Shot up. Here he Baseballs at him. 20 mil sounded like. Alright, he's down. Shade 8. I think we probably would have had him. So that's it for the P36. Uh, we did a little too much turning, more than we should have, but uh, when we're using it as an energy fighter, that's definitely the way you want to play it. So let's see how we did. We ended up with 10 air targets. We had Mission Maker, Survivor, and first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.